everybody i'm tony fleming from fleming's ultimate garage thank you for joining me on today's artifact tell them we're, we're doing a video on a car what an artifact are you all of a sudden are you digging in the dirt are you finding fossil bones no the only fossil bone i'm finding is right here wrapped up in this body actually what i'm talking about is this we are talking about it's 2024 right we're doing a video in 1953 mgtd that is almost all original you say tone how is that possible how could you know these things and i say you're right how could i know these things i don't but i do know that this guy right here which measures the millions of an inch thick right as i go around and i measure all of these panels and it tells me the paint is so consistent all the way around and very thin from the factory back in the day okay that you'll see that this here tells us right and the way these things work as a paint meter we normally use it on new cars to see if a car has been an accident and the paint fender has been painted or a panel has been painted and what it does is it lets you know because when the factory paints a car it goes down the assembly line they paint the sides of it or they paint the car right this it's almost a full consistent thing when it goes to a body shop and they make a repair on a fender or whatever it's a little thicker paint they don't really care they just want it to match right this highlights that for you so we've done all of that and walked around here this is a cool piece man original leather still inside the convertible top is still here we had to order a new one because it was 70 years old but it's original right it's going to come with the car unless you stop me before I put it on um, that's what's gonna be so if can you imagine going to a show right now going to a show with a 71 year old car we're doing this video in 2024 71 year old car almost all original the mechanicals have been updated inside here. Engines have been rebuilt, clutches, stuff like that. All that stuff's been done along the way. Nicely detailed in the engine compartment. The undercarriage looks amazing. This is a piece of history. I'm excited because you can't find this everywhere. You can find all the restored cars you want, and a restored car is awesome. I agree 100%, but they're only original once. All right, so we like to do the quality of paint. Now, listen, keep in mind, this is 1953 paint, but it's actually really good. What I want you to see is this. First off, I want you to see what this looks like. This is thin paint, and you want it to be thin. It's 2.5 millionths of an inch thick. Today's car is 7 to 9 millionths of an inch thick, right? So this has been waxed and things like this. This is single-stage paint. What does that mean, Tone? Single-stage paint. I didn't know there was two-stage or three-stage or four-stage. Base coat, clear coat, today's modern car is two-stage paint, meaning that they put the base coat down, then they put clear over top of it. That's paint with no pigment, all right? In this case here, this is single-stage paint. It's the color and the clear and everything's mixed inside of it. That is what you get. It's been uh, polished. We spent some time polishing it and things like that, and it looks really, really nice. Anyway, I wanted you to see 2.5 there, again, it's consistent and you can go all over and see it too because you want to like 1.5 so a range of like up to three millionths of an inch thick is fine because that's the way paint falls and then here we want to see it can shine because pictures can make things look good and what have you but look at how clean that is you can read it nice and shiny the chrome on here is original and nicely done uh, so many pieces are all original not many cars can be sold as original this is uh, an amazing piece so uh, we're gonna go inside we're gonna get under the hood we're gonna look at some other things I saw a couple pieces on the car that were updated I want to share those with you as well and then I want to tell you about the drive because the drive of this car is amazing I drove it it's you'd be so surprised now I know why they sold well because it just drives well anyway i'm getting excited i'm getting fun up here because i get you know original stuff all right let's get started on the engine compartment all right so the allure of these is wrapped up in the looks of it like this these today's modern car could never pull this off like you're looking at things like the way the fenders are mounted here but it also keeps everything supported as well right the red grill uh the engine compartment is detailed inside here right but this is what I want to say, and even if you don't want to, even if you didn't want to, uh, say, show the car, let's say you just want to drive it, you don't care. However, I want you to see what you're getting, and you're getting something really, really nice, okay? And that is under here, that is detailed. Everything is painted and kind of done the correct color. So we have our original style red in here. We have our twin side draft SUs, but I want to see the detail of stuff 
that I see as important stuff. So for instance, like the braided lines here for the fuel pump, fuel filter, uh, copper lines from the fuel tank, right? Uh, this stuff is painted and detailed nicely, right? It just looks really nice under here. If you wanted to go to a car show and open the, sh open the hood, you'd be proud to show this off. Not to mention, it sounds really good. It's got a free flow exhaust on it. Uh, it has a lot of power, especially for what these cars weigh. They don't weigh a lot of, oh, you're thinking about today's modern car weighs three, five, and 7,000 pounds, right? These cars are in the 2,000 pound range. They don't need a lot of power to go fast. And with modern radial tires, they handle really well too. So anyway, I just think it's kind of cool. Some people love to show off the engine. Some people don't really care. They just want to enjoy the car. Either way, you're going to enjoy the car. Also some cool original stuff as well. To make space for things, um, you can open the hood on either side, right, to service the car, which is great. Inside here is storage compartment. Uh, you can put some extra things in here if you want, but this has the uh, original jack in it, um, lug wrench, all those kind of things that go with the car. You can put extra fan belt and some other things that you may not be able to find if you wanted to go on, say, a, a 500 or 1,000 mile or 2,000 mile ride and you're worried about finding a, a fan belt at your, local, uh, at your local advanced auto parts store. The fan belt is kind of the only mechanical item on here that you might ever need. It's kind of cool to be able to have that in there, maybe a couple of spare fuses and you're ready to roll for a nice, nice travel. Imagine going away in this car, there's room in the back for luggage and what have you. That's a cool, cool weekend. All right, so back here, this is one of the styling features of these cars, right? The spare tire mounted here. Now you have a couple options we're talking about, but I do want to talk about originality and authenticity. For instance, like I know that this gas tank has been replaced, which is not uncommon. You don't want a 70 year old original gas tank in the car, that's impending disaster. So it's been repainted. And the reason I know that even though it matches really well is I metered it, right? And if you look right here, you come on in, you can see that this measures 10.5, which is way bigger than the 2.5 to 3.5 that we looked at before. However, the brackets that hold it in measure 3.5 which is pretty cool. This piece here measures 3.0, right? So we know like all of this stuff is original paint. All right. Secondly, you got a couple different ways to look at this car and this is really nice. So if you uh, go for a drive and you want to uh, just maybe go by yourself, what you can do is just unzip the one side and then you just tuck it in behind the seat here. Okay. Like so, I'm doing it quickly for you. That's not normally how I would do that. I would do a better job, <laughs> okay? And then this is kind of cool because it finishes off and holds the, the uh, I should do this properly. Anyway, holds the convertible top in place as well as finishes it too, okay? And so I usually fold this up properly then I put it back inside and I will do that for you in a second. I don't think you want to watch me do the whole thing, but uh, once it's inside here like this, then it looks really nice and finished, okay? If you don't have this on, but more importantly, uh, what I wanted you to see was how cool this looks from over here. Like, look at that. That looks really nice, especially from behind. And then you can take this off as you move around the car, right? And when we roll this up, and then this is where this car shines. Where this car shines is wrapped up not only in the exterior style, but look at that dash, man. That dash is cool, right? <sighs> Great banjo wheel, full gauges, right? This right here, British Motor Corporation original AM radio, right? AM radio from back in the day with the speaker behind that old school. Remember that kind of that felt uh, cloth speaker cover? This is the original leather in the car. Original leather is still in the car, okay? Original steering wheel is still in the car. The gauges have been restored. I can tell because they're way too nice. <laughs> but the gauges have been restored. Probably more importantly, not so much for the look of them, but for the functionality of them, right? They wanted to make sure that everything works. So you could go for a drive in this car. The transmission shifts so nicely. There's plenty of room for two people in here. Back here is completely empty, right? You can throw the dog back here. Uh, you can throw your luggage back here. This has a new convertible top uh, that has arrived, or I'm told it has arrived, or I'm told it should be arriving, right? This has the original convertible top on it, and while it's uh, while it's, let me just show it to you real quick, while it's original, uh, it's old, right? It's 70 years old. 
tell me if you want me to save it for you. Maybe I'll just save it anyway and uh, just put it in the car. If you decide you want to get rid of it, that's up to you. But at least you'd be getting some authentic. And I think quite honestly, it'd be cool to make like a plaque of the picture, a piece of the convertible top, a couple other small things with it and make yourself like a, like a framed piece of uh, art there. I think that would be really fun. All right, think about this. You've gone to work, it's Friday, and you said, you know what, man, Whew, what a week, right? And you tell your boss, I'm, I gotta roll out, man. I'm gonna leave it for today. And you know what you do? You're rolling out. You walk on down to your car, and you're like, wow, this is so good looking. Like, look at this car, man. It doesn't look like anything else out there. And you go, and you go get in your car, right? You get in your car, and uh, you get in, and you close your cool suicide door, right? Suicide door works just like it's supposed to, okay? And then you have some room in here too. Like I'm six one, like I got plenty of leg room. I like, can't even touch the floor in there. Uh, and if you want, we could hide a digital sound system somewhere under the seat, in the back, under the dash, wherever you want, you know? Uh, and then you could stream your music to that. So imagine like turning your phone off or calling whoever it is and saying, listen, I'm on the way. I'll see you uh, when I get there. And get rid of the feed man and you know what I mean by get rid of the feed the Twitter feed the boss feed the Facebook feed the text feed like a whole feed of the world coming at you shut it off for a little while put some music on give yourself some time go for a ride with you in the car and I'm telling you it's a game changer a couple options too this windshield here you have two different styles of windshield here you either have these that you can drive in and here and remove the windshield or remove these and the windshield is here and you can fold it down as well right how cool is that? Open motoring, maybe get yourself a set of goggles and a cool kind of uh, hat or whatever. That would be an awesome, awesome day. But this is nicely done here, right? In the sense that this is the original style uh, AM radio with the speaker built in. It's just cool, man. It's just cool. Reminds me of my grandfather's like radio, right? It's all that cloth weave that you would have seen on the back in the day on the Bakelite radios. Uh, 100 mile an hour speedometer, 6,000 RPM tack, uh, got a clock built in, water temperature, uh, oil, amps, like this is a full setup of a full sports car. This is a sports car, right? This is not just a, like a regular car. This is a, a genuine sports car. This is what they were like in 1953. The Corvette wasn't even out yet, probably maybe right around the same time it was going to be launched. Maybe it came out the same time, but the style of this thing is just amazing. A couple cool things I forgot to mention. This is the original leather, what we talked about earlier. It's in amazing shape. It's soft, it feels good. Uh, I feel like sometime where along the way the foams were replaced. This is kind of nice too, because depending on where you are, you can adjust the steering wheel in and out. Uh, so if you need to move the seat forward or this way, uh, if you need more room, I didn't lock it down, but you can have it to here, you can have it to here or, or anywhere in between. So anyway, just a cool kind of feature of the cars and the suicide doors just to add a whole nother touch. All right, so I want to close up this piece of history. The light ivory paint with red leather interior is striking. It really is. The fact that almost, uh, almost all of this paint is original is, to me, a mind blower. I'm not sure I could take care of a car this well for 70 years, right? The mechanicals are done. It drives beautifully. It sounds great. It goes down the road. We have a new convertible top coming for it. Uh, I don't know, it can go on and on, go to a car show. Don't go to a car show, go away for the weekend and take some soft luggage in there. Can you imagine the difference, a trip for the weekend in your versus your Yukon XL, great truck, right? But that's your daily driver. Going away in this, it gives you some time to talk to the other person that's there. It's a game changer, man. It's a game changer. And if you don't want to talk to anybody else, go by yourself. All right? Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this 53 MGTD. And, uh, we will ask you to go ahead and hit the like button down below. Hopefully that uh, you will uh, send that message out to everyone else. Share that with your friends and subscribe to the channel. We've got new stuff coming out all the time.